Understanding isometric, diametric, and trimetric drawing theories is crucial for professionals in engineering, design, and architecture. These methods enhance communication, aid in visualizing complex structures, and facilitate problem solving. Proficiency in these techniques is essential for effective collaboration, accurate design interpretation, and successful implementation of ideas in various technical fields. Various Graphical Projection in Engineering Drawing We have various graphical projection methods in engineering drawing. I will begin by discussing the classification of projection methods which can be broadly categorized into two groups, parallel projection and perspective projection. Within the parallel projection method, there are two main categories, orthographic and oblique projections. Under orthographic projection, we further explore multiple views, such as the first angle and third angle projection methods. Today, our focus will be on another orthographic projection method known as axonometric or auxiliary projection. Axonometric projection is a subtype of orthographic projection commonly employed in engineering drawing and technical design. First isometric Second diametric Third trimetric Isometric, diametric, and trimetric drawings are types of pictorial projections used in technical and engineering drawings to represent three-dimensional objects on a two-dimensional surface. The main difference among them lies in the angles at which the three axes of the object are inclined relative to the plane of the drawing. Isometric drawing in an isometric drawing, all three axes are equally and simultaneously inclined to the plane of the drawing. The angels between the axes are 120 degrees. Isometric drawings are widely used in engineering and technical drawings because they provide a clear representation of the object's three-dimensional form. Diametric Drawing in diametric projection, two of the three axes are inclined at equal angles, while the third axis is inclined at a different angle. Diametric drawings are less common than isometric drawings, but are used in certain situations where a more natural or specific view of the object is desired. Trimetric drawing Trimetric projection is similar to diametric, but all three axes have different inclinations. Trimetric drawings are the least common of the three and are typically used when a designer wants to show a specific angle or emphasize a particular aspect of the object. Here some quick revision for difference in various projection method. Isometric, diametric and trimetric drawings represent three-dimensional objects in technical illustrations, with each method offering distinct approaches. In isometric drawing, all three axes are equally inclined at 120 degrees, creating a balanced and widely used representation, particularly prevalent in engineering designs. Diametric drawing introduces two equal axis angels and one different angle, providing a compromise between realism and clarity. Although less common, diametric drawings are employed when specific views are desired. Trimetric drawing, the least common, features three different angels for the axis, allowing for a customized perspective that emphasizes particular aspects of the object. Enhancing technical communication through pictorial projections. While isometric drawings are straightforward and prevalent, diametric and trimetric drawings are selectively used to cater to specific visualization needs and design requirements. The choice of each method brings its own level of complexity 
and designers make decisions based on the desired balance between realism and emphasis on particular details, ensuring effective communication and accurate representation in technical and engineering fields. Understanding isometric, diametric, and trimetric drawings enhances communication, aids visualization, supports problem solving, and is crucial in various stages of design, prototyping, and manufacturing processes across different industries. Axonometric projections are valuable in representing three-dimensional objects on a two-dimensional. 